Diana's development is moving at an incredibly fast pace, leaving a gap for more food products. And so the government has set its sights on the increased production of pork by some 400,000 kilos, or just over 880 pounds by the start of December. This ambitious target now rests with Guyana's swine producers, who were on Wednesday presented with cross-bred swines, both male and female, created with the ability to produce 200 pounds of quality meat within six months each. And according to the Minister of Agriculture, Zulfikar Mustafa, the $1.8 million investment will add to the 890,000 kilos of pork already being produced to satisfy the increasing demand. She is moving a pace in investment and we will be challenged to produce the food for the various sectors, the other sectors in the economy. We are seeing that the oil and gas sectors, the oil and gas sector is taking form. We are seeing more and more people coming to this part of the world, coming to our country. The minister reminded that the government is plugging millions of dollars into Guyana's livestock industry, with 997.3 million budgeted to see the creation of a modular abattoir at Garden of Eden on the east bank of Demerara. The facility to be constructed through a partnership between the government and the private sector would have better standardized production systems and biosecurity that would benefit over 600 farmers. It will be supported by the requisite certification processes and traceability capacity to allow Guyana access to regional and international markets. According to Mustafa, the high cost of feed is also being looked at, as the government wants to be self-sufficient and produce its own. And with the corn and soya bean trial farm at the Dubalay Ranch in Ipini along the Burbis River yielding high results, Guyana is making strides in this regard. That is why we embarked last year on a trial on corn and soya, and the trial, the result was very good. Meanwhile, Gopal Sanasi, who operates a large-scale farm in Region 3, shared his excitement at the yield expected with the crossbred swine. With the rearing time cut by some two years, he said that farmers will be able to get quality meat and higher litter size, which translates to more revenue for Guyana. And now with this improved genetic now, we're looking at six months to get 200 carcass, which would be a good yield, well, profit-wise, and as well as the litter size as well, increase with these genetics. Because from weaning seven or eight piglets, now we're looking at 15 or 16. Reporting for the newsroom, Shikima Day.